Google has a new tricycle and wants everyone to know about it. The ubiquitous Internet search engine organized a press tour to Chateau Chambord in the Loire Valley to show off the way it's collecting images for its street view maps. In this case, with a high-tech tricycle that can be used around ancient monuments and pedestrian passageways to shoot the ground-level photos which are then incorporated into Google Maps. A demonstration organized in part to help dispel lingering hostility toward the Street View project here and elsewhere in Europe. In a number of countries, some accuse Google of invading privacy with Street View, capturing pictures of people, buildings, and trademarks, and then displaying them across the Internet in ways which no one but Google can control. There have been complaints. And according to lawyers for a number of French critics, there could be a lawsuit over not just the images, but personal data, emails, passwords, and the like, which Google said earlier this year was accidentally collected in more than 30 countries. We don't know what they're going to do with all this personal data. At the moment, we have an um, investigation. The, the French agency is investigating on that point. Google France says the Wi-Fi data collection was stopped and will not be used again. As to the privacy issues, the company insists that faces, license plates, and any other identifying images will be blurred to keep everything anonymous, and that houses and buildings can be removed from sight if their owners ask. The new technology we need to explain, and that's the role of Google to explain why we want to do that. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, I think our goal is uh, to give access information to everyone and to be transparent and to explain why we want to do that. If Google Street View still has its skeptics, the company has won over one major critic. Google signed a landmark deal with a major French publisher permitting the digitization of out-of-print books. Just a year ago, French publishers won a copyright infringement case against Google over a similar project, which did not have prior agreement. It's all part of Google's charm offensive here, which includes a promise to President Sarkozy that the company will create a still vaguely defined French cultural institute. We're investing in France because we're very popular in France and growing fast in France, and French customers love Google products, but they also want to be sure that we're willing to give France. And if modern technology does have something to give to this ancient land, there's little question the nation will be happy to take it. Jim Bitterman, CNN, Paris.